Hi everybody, I wanted to come on and share a few things with you guys. Well, I guess I'll call it a collective haul. I stopped at um, Target, Joann's, and a little thing, a few things from Walmart and Joann's. I didn't get much. And I, before I start, I just want to say hello to everybody. And I want to thank everyone for all the little get well wishes. I appreciate that. Um... I believe last week in one of my videos I said I was feeling much, much better, which I was. And then a few days ago I woke up and it just like hit me ten times harder. I don't know what, you know, was going on, but I did, me and my husband went to the walk-ins, the urgent care yesterday, just to make sure I didn't have, you know, bronchitis or pneumonia. And um, so they did an x-ray. I was, you know, clear of those and um she just put me on a steroid pregazone and a cough suppressant um and she gave me a breathing treatment which really did help open me up um you know so i did take i took a preg i was supposed i think i was supposed to take two i only took one pregazone i really not big into taking all these medicines but um if it's going to help at this point you know, I'm with it. So I am feeling okay. I'm still dealing with this chest cold. Everyone's, it's just me. Everyone got better. They're doing well. Ugh, I don't know. So it just seems like, you know, even last year, it seems like when I get a cold, it lasts weeks and it's just insane. Um, but I wanted to come on. I did make a nice hot cup of tea in my little Santa baby mug. I forgot where I got this. I think I got it from like Dollar General. Um, one of the little dollar stores, I think. It's a nice big mug. So I've been taking, you know, sipping on my tea. I've been trying to drink a lot of water and hopefully everything will turn out okay. All right, so I'm going to start with my little itsy bitsy tiny Joanne's haul. Me and Gigi went Thursday. Um, I've been letting her, you know, taking her out so she can pick out gifts for the family. And um, so she's been buying family gifts and wrapping them on her own. And she's getting in the holiday spirit. And so we did that, and I stopped at Joanne's, um, you know, just to see what they had. They didn't really didn't have too much. This is a smaller store that I um, went to. So this year, I don't think, um, you know, they had any really cute Christmas decorations. I need to, you know, take a trip to the, my larger store. They have so much more. So last year, if you guys remember, I bought quite a few of the snow globes from Joann's. These are originally $29.99. I'm not paying no $30 for these. Um, I did pay $10 for it, though. The snow globes this year, for some reason, are, I don't know, much cheaper quality. It's like really cheap plastic. Um, I don't know. It's a musical... It was $10. I thought the little Christmas tree was cute. They had several different ones. Um, but this is the only one I really, you know, wanted. So I got that. And then I got two packs of these cute little snowman bells. They have a little hoop. You can put them on a little chain or whatever you want to do with them. But I thought those were adorable. And then from the Handmade Holiday, I just... They had several different um, bells and sequins and little pom-poms. I'm loving these two little colors. Uh, pretty baby blue with that white. Um, so you get the little snowflakes in blue and white. And then the snowmen in blue and then the silver stars. All right, so I got that. And then I, this one is a repurchase. It was sold out every time I went back and looked for another pack. I had already started using mine. Um, I do have quite a bit left, but I wanted to um, give some. So I'm going to take some out and just put them in different packaging and give some of the little unicorn sequins. Actually, that store was sold out of all the mixed, the newer mixed sequin uh, packs. They had the mermaid. They had a few different kinds. So I got one of them, and I think, or I picked up two packs of these felt stickers, unicorns, and the little presents. And I had already opened these because I was 
going to do the video. Well, I did do the video last night. And then I started coughing and it wasn't working out too well. And I was like, forget it. So here I am doing it again. And then they had the little Santas, little reindeer, Christmas trees, and there's a little penguin in there. And now that is it from Joanne. So I'm going to show you guys the little few things I bought from Walmart. Um, a lot of stuff is downstairs, just stuff that we needed for the house. You know, soap, laundry detergent, all that stuff. So they had these little, it's a makeup sponge and then a face eraser. They had the little elf, a unicorn, and then I think there was another little design. Um, I actually bought this to go in a bag, something, you know, for a gift. So I got that. I bought a fresh pair of scissors. You know, I own quite a few scissors, but um, I got a fresh pair. I got the little shears and a paring knife. This is actually going inside of a um, a little gift. So they had these in the middle section where they have all the pre-made Christmas gifts. And they have a, a bunch of Christmas um, theme utensils and kitchen towels and all that other good stuff in that little section. They have some really cute baking stuff in there, too. All right, and then this is a repurchase, and I have one of these that I bought probably two months ago. You know, me and my craft room, guys, I'm still working on it, organizing and moving things around, setting things up, surely, but slowly. Um, and in the midst of all that, I don't know where I, but I misplaced it somewhere, and I can't find it, and I've searched for it. These things aren't, you know, that cheap. They're 10 bucks for this pack. Um, you can buy them um, in singles, but even though it's a little pricey, these do tend to last, you know, a long time. Um, and I shared this before. This is the Shimmer for Breeze um, Warmer. If you guys have not tried this scent, I'm telling you, it smells so, so, so good. Um, so I've been buying these. All right, so I got that, and then I needed um, tape the little refill tapes for the tape dispenser I bought from Michael's. So my husband went in that section um, and grabbed me the Scotch 4 rolls. He didn't only grab me these, and I hope they're going to fit. I think they should, right? So this is just the transparent tape. So he yeah, got them, and then he also bought these, which I didn't need them, but they'll get used. And this one is supposed to be a super hold tape. You get three rows in there, same size. So I'm good on these refills. And then I picked up one of the Scotch double-sided adhesive rollers. I use, I have the refillable, the reusable, the, um, not reusable. You can just buy the tape to refill it. I have not seen, and I believe that the red one is the permanent, the strongest um, strength. And I usually buy it from Walmart or Joann's. And I cannot find it. The red is like always sold out. So I went ahead and just got this little one. I'm sure it's not going to last, you know, maybe two, two projects. Very little in here. But I got, even though I have my larger um, tape, uh, but I need to buy refills for them. Moving along, so doing all this little jip, you know, yapping away. Um, they have this, well, they have two. They have the snowflake confetti, and these are located where they keep all the Christmas paper plates, cups, napkins, paper straws, same section. They have all the pre-made gifts and all that other good stuff. Um, they do have the Christmas, um, why did I say Christmas? They have the snowflakes, and I shared those. I think it was the first time I've seen the little Santa and Snowflake. Um, excuse me, look at me. See, I'm all over the place. The Santa, the snowmen. Look how cute those little snowmen are. So you get the Santa and then you get the cute little deer, not the snowflake. Um, these would be nice to embellish with. You can even make a tag out of them. Do whatever you want with them. They're really nice for 98 cents to, you know, have in your stash just for... Those little add-ons or quick little tag if you wanted to make a little tag out of them. 
Sorry, I'll stick those in a minute. And then I shared these already. I actually didn't buy these yesterday. These are just the trim that you can find in the Christmas gift wrap section. Um, and these are always nice to have in your stash for crafting. I don't think I ever use this on gifts, you know, itself. And then I get this one with the red, green, and white pom-pom. And I think that is it as far as Walmart. Like I said, all the cleanings, yeah. I'm sure you guys didn't want to see all that. Um, oh, no, I bought these for Gigi. That's the first time I've seen them. And I thought they would be something different and fun. It's the Crayola Glitter Dots Glitter with Less Mess classic colors and I guess you just squish it um to create whatever you wanted to so they have the little wooden frame and then the the letter that they decorated with it so I guess you just peel it out place it and squish it and you want to make sure you keep these on any surface that you can clean because they would run off squishing these all over your sofas and your rugs and mm-hmm so I don't know. I thought it would be some fun for her. And that was $4.90 something. Did I tell you guys? Did I show this? I made a nice hot cup of tea. I've been drinking a lot of this and a lot of water. Um, all right. So let me share what I got from Target quickly. Target has some of the cutest ornaments. They actually, usually Target is good for their Christmas decorations and ornaments and wrapping paper. They always have the cute little prints and designs. Well, there's a lot of pink this year that I've noticed. And, you know, I'm into, you know, the pink Christmas. I got the pink Christmas tree. And so I bought some of the ornaments. And these were only three bucks, which aren't badly priced. And they're super cute. So I got this one for Gigi. A little dear ballerina. I found this cute little deer. How cute is that? With the little hooded sweater with the little pink pom poms. Super cute. And they had the gnome. A cute little pink bell. And then a, um, I believe that's a wood nose, little nose with the pink little snowflakes. I love that. And then the little Bambi. This is actually the only one left. They had a few different colors. Actually, they had different colors in every one that I'm showing you. I just picked the pink. I thought she was cute. And my husband actually bought this one for me. And this one was five bucks only because I think it's glass. Thank you, little Bambi. It has little bells. So you know all these are definitely staying up here for my pink tree. Gigi may want to take hers downstairs. We haven't got our Christmas tree yet. We're going this weekend um, to get it. And then they had these little mini glittered pink deer. So I figured I'd grab those. These were only three. I know when I seen these little cups. They had to be mine. I'm a little confused, though. So this is Let It Snow. Really cute little, I believe, felt um, ornament. It has... a believe this is whipped cream. I'm not sure who puts whipped cream in their tea because I do believe that's a tea bag. Um, however, it is really cute. So I did get that and then they had this one with the candy cane and the little marshmallows. This is less stay at home. And then I've seen this one and I'm I may go back and get one more of this one. And they I think they only had one left. So I may have to run back there and grab it. Um, so it's tea and fuzzy socks. I thought that was so cute. And again, I think that's maybe whipped cream. Um, this would be really cute, you know, for a tea drinker who, um, you know, enjoys their tea. You can put it in maybe a little gift bag or a little gift box with some tea bags and a cute pair of fuzzy socks with the ornament. Um, I think that would make a really cute gift. It's just plain on the, the back side. But I did grab that. And then, of course, the bullseye, the dollar spot, had their dollar ornaments. They had a bunch of different ones. Um, I only grabbed, I think, three. So the little door. And you can also use these in your crafting, too. I got two of the little North Pole sign. I thought that was 
too cute for a dollar, and they're all wood. And the last one I got for these cute little mittens, you get two. So those are the ornaments that I picked out. My husband did, actually I was kind of surprised that he picked out these ornaments, but he bought the little glass, hopefully you guys can see, let me see, three pack, let me see if I can lift it a little bit. Oh, go falling. All right, so I'm going to lift you guys up because this is just going to drive me nuts. All right, so this is from the Wonder Shop at Target. It was, you know, 12 bucks is a little pricey. Um, they are glass ornaments. Sorry for all the moving. I know some of you guys get a little dizzy. So they do have, like, the little fake snow in there and cute little Santa with that cute little snowman. And then that pretty little deer with her little lashes that one actually now well, i may put these downstairs well these are going downstairs i was going to keep her for up here but i can keep them all downstairs i only got that little old tree right there and it's actually filled with ornaments i'm not even sure if i have room for them if not i'll take them downstairs Dress the tree all right so i'm gonna put you guys back here so those are the ornaments we got um stickers these stickers i grabbed i think maybe last month and i shared on my instagram and i forgot to share it with you guys because i think i already put it away um these cute little mini puffy Ugly, I guess they're supposed to be ugly sweaters or Christmas sweaters with the little hats and hot chocolates. And, of course, you get two sheets in a pack, and these were $3.49. Um, you can find these on an end cap where they keep all the greeting cards um, at Target. So I wanted to share them. And then I spotted these, and I was like, yes, I have to get not only one pack, but I had to get two packs because these are too cute. And I'm going to take them out of the package to share with you guys quickly. I'm loving the gold that they had, the little gold. But look at that little unicorn. Little penguin, it says chill out. Peace signs with the snowman. And there's that little llama. Um, the little Santa sled guys. I slay all day. And I think this is Dash Hound through the snow. That little blue, I like the little snowflakes on them. And then the strawberry is Berry Christmas. And then Peas on Earth with three little peas. There's that flamingo. Look at that little deer. She pretty with the florals and those eyelashes. And then some of the little candies, or excuse me, snowflakes have peace signs in them. I just thought it was a really cute, fun Christmas sticker set. So pretty. All right, so I, I did. I grabbed two of those. Let's move you guys over here. Um, all right, these little wooden houses. My chest is tight, too. Um, so you guys know I'm good for, and I say it all the time, if you see something in the stores, you better make sure you buy it when you see it, because if you go back for it, it's not going to be there, and that was what happened to me. I actually went in a few weeks ago, and I seen the hot chocolate little house, and I hid it in my cart, um, and that's what I usually do when I go to Target, too, because a bullseye is always near the front door. So I'll go there and I'll stock up and put a whole bunch of stuff in my basket. And then I'll go around and do some shopping. And as I'm cashing out or head to the cashier, I had my butt right back to the bullseye and take half of the stuff that I had in there out. Um, and the little hot chocolate house was one of them. I was like, oh, I don't need it now. But uh, yeah, I went back for it and they were all all gone. Um they did have the little elf workshop. I think they had three, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. They had the hot chocolate, the elf, and there was another one, I think. I don't even know if they had, they made a hit for. But, yeah, they had two of these, two of these, so I got one of them. Like, I should have the hot chocolate. 
Um, I also picked up the little, I guess this is our gingerbread. It's going to be, we're not going to decorate it until, I don't know, maybe next week, two weeks. Um, this was $9.49, I think. Let me take you guys off. I thought it was cute. You know, I'm not a llama fan, but my daughter seems to be liking llamas lately. Um, and even so not, I thought this, look how cute that is. So pretty, little colors and, um, so it's a fa la la llama sugar cookie, uh, scene kit. And they had quite a few different ones. So this is everything included. You get the pre-baked cookies, the little figurines, um, and then you get the little sanding sugar to decorate it. I'm just loving those little colors. So she'll have fun putting that together. You know, I like just the good old traditional gingerbread. I may even just get a little one because they do have small kits. Um, but I, you know, I thought she'd like that. All right. And then I walked by this. And I said, oh, that is so, so cute. My husband was with me. Um, I really like the mug. I thought it was cute. You guys know I like unicorns. It's a nice mug. It has a little marshmallows, white chocolate, hot cocoa mix, and I don't know. I think that's a little candy uh, chocolate bark. And it has a cute little pom-pom. The packaging is so cute, Period. Um... So I walked away, and of course, he went back acting like he was getting something for the dog. Well, he did get something for the dogs. He got little dog cookies, and he, you know, picked one up and went and cashed out his own. He's like, well, I got you the mug. I was like, why did you tell me now? I didn't want to know. Um, Just something small and cute. So he did, I don't know how much that was, like maybe five bucks, six bucks. And sip on some tea. All right, and then, oh, I got this from the Bullseye, too. These cute little elves. It's a ceramic little elf shoes. I thought it was, I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking a little planner. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to stick anything in it. They did have the uh, Santa boots, and you guys know I'm actually a big, I love Santa boots. Um, I didn't care for, I don't know, the way they looked or painted them. Um, so yeah, they went ahead and got the little elves in the back where they keep all the Christmas candies and they had the old fashioned, some of the old fashioned candy, classic candies as they call it. And these actually, I haven't had these since my grandma, you know, was alive in her own house doing Christmas. Um, Every year we had Christmas at uh, Christmas Eve. We would spend at my grandma's, and my grandma had eleven kids, and she had lots and lots and lots of grandkids. So her house was filled with people every Christmas Eve, and she used to play music. Um, and she bought everyone. Everyone had a gift, and when I say I have a huge family, guys, I have a huge, you know, family. And she would buy every single person a gift, whether if it was a, usually the boys or men. You know, my grandma wasn't rich. She um, used to buy him like a, a pack of socks or mitt or gloves or something um, every year. And uh, but I thought that, you know, was sweet of her. She always made sure someone had something. And uh, we used to have, you know, food at the table and dips and all the other good stuff. I just miss it. A family got together and celebrating and we still do, but not it's not like, you know, when grandma was here at her house. Anyhow, she used to always have the old fashioned candies. And these I think have the little chocolates inside. I think these were only a dollar ninety nine. They had different ones too. But I got them too and then I just got this as a um, stocking stuffer, cherry cotton candy. Um, I got other things too, but I can't share them with you. If you're on my Instagram, I may do a little picture just to kind of share with you guys the other, you know, little things too. And I want to mention this, and I think this pretty much sums up my little 
collective haul um, for those who just kind of stopped by to see what I got. Um, all right, on my Instagram, I was cutting my Instagram. I was going through um, my followers, and I kind of wanted to do um, my Instagram more private for my supporters, you know, who follow me and just to get a little more personal, I wanted to share more of myself and pictures and stuff like that on there. So I removed probably almost 2,000 followers, which, yeah. Um, so I go back and I get loads and loads of friend requests from um, followers that were following me before. And I was like... And then I start feeling like shit. And I'm like, aw. Um, and it was nothing personal. I was just, you know, removing people that I never heard of. Or if I didn't recognize the name or the picture. I was just doing it, you know, quickly. I had, I was almost at 3,000 followers on Instagram. And, um, you know, and then they're like, hey, what happened? She's like, I follow you. I follow you on YouTube. And I got a lot of those. And then I just start feeling bad. and. So I'm going to go and just, you know, accept them. And um, I guess, I, you know, I'm not going to use it for what I wanted, intended to. Um, so I just want to, I did want to apologize to those. It wasn't nothing like personal or um, intentional to remove you for any reason. It was just, I was, maybe I didn't recognize your picture or your name. Um, and I was doing it fairly quickly, just going through, you know, a thousand, two thousand account, you know, people on there. So I just want to apologize and don't take it, you know, and, you know, personal, but, um, most of you, I'm, um, accepting, um, Instagram, um, requests now. So I'm going to go through all those. That's all I say. Just make sure you have a picture. I, if I get a fowler that has no picture, no post, no nothing, I usually never, I won't accept those ones. I do get a little more, per, a little more personal. I do share pictures and more than I do on my YouTube. Um, so I just wanted to say that too. And, uh, yeah. So I went to, let me show you my little, and it's, I'll show you in a minute. I had a sip on my tea, guys, and it tastes so good. Let me take you over here. Make sure there is a... Because I do have eyes, guys. I got little wandering eyes that do sit there and watch my videos. Um, so I went to Five Below to restock. And those three um, wrapping papers... That's the, I guess, the theme I'm doing. Um, and then they had the little gift tags, which coordinated well with it. So I bought two packs of these, and they were only a dollar for a hundred. But look how cute those are. And the colors. And they also have a few sets of gift bags that coordinate with these, too. Um, so I got two of them. And then when I was walking out, I seen this bag. It's a jumbo reusable bag and it was only two bucks and the colors are so cute it does have a little zipper in there but let me show you two dollars isn't that cute just even the colors oh snap a little gingerbread and then it has like the little gingerbread house so yeah I thought that was cute. This would be, I'm keeping this for myself, but this would be nice to use maybe as a um, gift bag if you wanted to gift it. What, you know, woman wouldn't like one of these. Yeah. And there's Gigi's little gifts to um, grandma and her cousins. Yeah. She's been busy doing her own little shopping and gift wrapping. Um, let me show you the tree from Walmart. You guys remember I had this tree from Michael's and my dogs jumped like in a shelf in my box when we first moved here and they knocked over the box and it smashed my tree. I was so like, no, um, but this is the one 
from Dollar Tree, or excuse me, Dollar Tree, from Walmart. This does not have a cord. You got to do it by batteries, and it does have a timer too, so it will shut off, but I just wanted to share that. That is cute. They had um white and green as well. So there that is, and there's my little tree. Mm -hmm. I haven't set that up yet. That's not set up, but once it's set up, I'll share with you guys. I think I already said that probably five times already. All right, guys. I'm going to put the stuff away. I'm going to wrap up some of these gifts so they're not seen. Um, and maybe do a little crafting. I have a busy, busy day tomorrow. I got tons of running around to do tomorrow, starting early in the morning. So I'm going to get some crafting before I go to bed. And until next time, I'll look at a half hour video. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, I, if you're still with me, I want to thank you for watching me and being supportive and leaving comments and liking my videos. Believe me, I appreciate all you guys. And all of you guys are very, very real to me. And um, thank you for that. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And until next time, guys, be safe. Because this is a crazy world today we live in. And if you're in the cold, um, stay warm. And I will chat with you guys soon. Bye, guys.